Hey friends, it's Laurie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm making a starfish and sand dollar coastal wreath. I use supplies from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and Joanne. And I'll be sure to share each item throughout my tutorial. I hope you have fun crafting with me, so let's get busy. Starting my DIY, I'm using an 18 inch grapevine wreath and I picked this up at Michael's. You can pretty much find these anywhere that craft supplies are sold. I'm adding on some greenery and I'm using two bunches of these pretty leaves. They're kind of a greenish grayish color. I picked these up at Joanne Fabric and Crafts and they were actually a buy two get one free so I'm using some other greenery that I picked up there as well. They're close to lamb's ear, they are a little fuzzy, and you can use any type of leaves for this project. Using my clippers, I cut each individual stem off of the main bunch. With all my greenery cut, I'm now adding it onto the form. I'm taking the end of each stem and I'm tucking it into the grapevine wreath pretty much as far as it will go. I'm working from the outside to the inside, but as I'm moving along anywhere that I see kind of an open space, I'm tucking in one of the stems. The leaves are on wires, which is great because as you're adding them and working your way around, you can bend them so that they'll follow the circular pattern. And as I'm adding them, I'm making sure that they're all heading in the same direction. With all my leaves in place, I'm now just neatening them up a bit. For my next filler, I'm adding in two bunches of this greenery. It was part of the buy two get one free deal at Joanne and it reminds me of beach grass. Just like the leaves, I used my clippers and removed the stems from the main branch. Unlike the leaves that came on single stems, these came on multiple stems, so I ended up with a larger pile. I'm using these as a filler, so I'm placing them in between all of the leaves, and once again, I'm tucking the stems down in between the grapevine wreath and pushing them as far down as I can. Because there were so many stems on the main bunches, I'm able to fill in most of the open spaces. Now that I'm done, I'm working my way around the wreath and I'm intertwining the leaves and the greenery together. I wanted to share with you today that I am participating in a summer wreath collab and it's being hosted by my sweet friend Nadia from DIY with Nadia. She has an amazing channel with so many beautiful wreaths and you can check her out along with my other crafty friends. I will have the playlist linked below in my description. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below, leaving me a thumbs up, and to all my returning friends, you know I am always so happy to see you. When I was at Joanne in the floral department, I found this greenery and it reminded me of seaweed. I like the idea of adding in an additional texture and the green color is just a bit different, so using my clippers, I clipped off the pieces. These are shorter pieces and they're not wired, so they were a bit more difficult to tuck in between the grapevine.
As I worked my way around the wreath, I evenly spaced them and I did my best to tuck them in as tightly as possible. This is the greenery that I chose for my wreath, but definitely change it up and make it your own. Now that I have all the seaweed in place, because the stems are short and I don't want to take a chance of them falling out, I'm using my glue gun and I'm placing a dot of hot glue on each end. I think the wreath is really pretty and you could hang it as is, but I'm going to add on some accents to give it that coastal vibe. I'm adding on four starfish. I had these on hand and they each measure five inches. Dollar Tree is selling packages of three starfish. These measure four inches each. And what you could do is use six of these on the wreath instead of the four that I'm using. I'm leaving two in their natural color and the other two I'm painting blue. I was using this navy paint, but the only problem is when I opened it, the color inside didn't match the color on the top. So to make it a bit darker, I'm using some black acrylic paint and adding it into the blue. Mixing them together, I made sure I had enough blue paint to cover the front and the back of two starfish. I added in a few drops of the black acrylic paint and mixed it together with my skewer. This color is more what I was looking for and now I'm painting the front and the back of both starfish. If I was using the six Dollar Tree starfish, I would leave four in the natural color and paint two in blue. That's just personal preference, but you could always leave them in the natural color or paint them up in different colors. In addition to the starfish, Dollar Tree is also selling sand dollars. They come in packages of three and I'll be using three on my wreath. Their color is a bright white, which is too light for my wreath, so I'm giving each one of them a coat of khaki acrylic paint. When I attach them, you really can't see the underside, but just in case, I'm painting both sides. I've put those aside to dry, and now I'm making the bow for my wreath. I'm using a two and one half inch light burlap ribbon, a one and one half inch navy blue stripe in burlap ribbon, along with a one and one half inch pretty blue starfish in burlap ribbon. They're also wired and all three came from Hobby Lobby. To attach my bow together, I'm using a 12 inch piece of floral wire and to make my bow, I'll be using my bow maker that I picked up on Amazon a while back. I'm starting with my two and a half inch ribbon and I'm giving myself about 20 inch tails. I'm then making six five and a half inch loops. I'm then finishing up with an approximate 20 inch tail. I'm adding on the stripe ribbon and this time I don't want long tails and I'm making them about five inches and then giving myself four, four and a half inch loops. When I'm done, I'm then cutting this tail at about five inches. Lastly, I'm adding on my pretty starfish ribbon and once again, I'm giving myself two 20 inch tails, but this time I'm giving myself four three and a half inch loops. With my bow complete to attach it together, I'm placing the floral wire over the center, wrapping it around and then twisting it tightly in the back. And now all I'm doing is fluffing out the loops.
With my bow complete and my starfish and sand dollars dry, it's time to add them all to the wreath. I'm first adding the bow and I'm using the two wires on the back. I decided where I wanted to add it and then wrapped the two wires around the grapevine and I twisted them really tightly together on the back and then folded down the excess wire. I'm giving the bow a quick little fluffing and by adding it first, it's allowing me to find the spacing for my starfish. I turned my wreath to the side, placed down my white and my blue starfish, making sure to slightly overlap them. I'm now finding the placement for my sand dollars and once again I'm evenly spacing them on my wreath. To attach them, I'm using my hot glue gun, I'm adding on a generous amount, and then pressing them firmly in place. If you're finding that yours aren't staying in place once you add the hot glue, you can always take a piece of wire, fold it in half, and attach it to the back of the starfish and sand dollar, and then just wrap that around the form. My hot glue did the trick and I didn't have any problems with their moving, but just in case you do, that's another option. To finish up, I gave my ribbon tails a slight curl by wrapping them into a light corkscrew. Now that I'm done, my starfish and sand dollar coastal wreath, it's ready to hang. Here we are at the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed making this wreath DIY with me. Be sure to check out the summer collab playlist, I'll have that linked below in my description. If you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I hope you all have a safe and amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye everybody!